light strike. All right, so just cleared out the bullet trap, and uh, here's all the stuff that came out of it. Or we fired, and so you can see some of the paper uh, wrappings from these uh, bullets, and not all these are residue, but some of it's rust from uh, the shell inside of the shell that got knocked off when the round hit. So first three were just plain wooden bullets with paper wrapped around it to make it to a right di uh, diameter. So these have almost no weight behind it, so as you saw, had no bang to it, as you know, you didn't have enough compression. And these uh, second three group, these were similar wooden bullets with a couple of these copper BBs inserted into it to give it a little bit, little bit more weight. And as you saw, some of it worked, some of it not so much. So still need. I think these would be pretty good for uh, just plinking around. I just gotta get tune in the powder load and I guess the weight issues. The third, last or last four, one of them didn't go off, but uh, these three were the 45 grain 5.56 five, bullets that were inserted into a, a paper casing essentially. So just inserted backwards, so it's like a flat nose soft point. And these worked great, and as you can see from these bullets, they're semi-deformed, so they hit with a decent amount of force behind it. So these, I was worried about these since you know they have more force, but uh, none of the casings had the primer blowouts. So I mean they worked great, uh, but like I said, you know using match head, it's it's. Uh, pretty reliable as far as ignition goes but you can tell it, it's extremely dirty and leaves a lot of uh, grit and all that so might have to go buy some uh, uh, real gunpowder see how that performs uh, probably it'll still be dirty but it probably won't be as bad as match heads so yeah thanks for watching guys Just firing a 45 grain bullet with 10 match hits. Good primer strike. 